issues that we need to worry about out there this morning. And nothing like what we had yesterday, Patrick. Should be a much easier commute. There may be a few puddles uh, left over that froze at the edges of driveways, sides of the roads, that sort of thing. But I think most of your roadways should be nice, dry, clear conditions for you. And those temperatures overnight, well, they've fallen into the upper 20s and lower 30s. And we have the potential to fall another couple of degrees here prior to our sunrise this morning, which is just a few minutes past 7 o'clock. Our threat tracker future cast over the next couple of days is going to be low today, tonight, and tomorrow as uh, quiet weather is on the way for us. In fact, it's a cooler stretch these next few days after enjoying a Sunday and a Monday in the 40s. We're going to be at or below normal for our temperatures over the next five to seven days. I don't think the sort of frigid air that we've seen over the last few weeks, but it will be cooler than normal, kind of a continuation of what we've been seeing most of the month of January. We've been keeping an eye on that Wednesday night, early Thursday system. It look, it's looking now like it's mostly a miss. Maybe some light snow showers possible. We'll talk more about that and then. But there are more storms to watch. Some of our computer models this morning showing several storms developing over the next, say, seven to ten days. One would be over the weekend, another one potentially next Tuesday. And well, the majority of our computer models have those out to sea. We'll have to keep an eye on how close they come to us and whether they'll have any impact. Certainly looking like potentially a pattern change on the way here for the end of the month. Live city cam in Providence. We're at about 30. Feels like 24 with west wind though at 6 miles an hour. 30 degrees in Smithfield. 31 in Warwick right now. Seacon coming in at about 31 and the temperatures in Coventry coming in around 32 degrees. So 20s and 30s. I think again we may fall another couple of degrees. It'll be mostly clear dry for the morning commute or sunrise 708 this morning. Here's a look at the uh, satellite and the radar. Weak front passing through our area right now. Overall, the skies though mainly sunny. The temperatures cooling behind that and you can see the sunshine hanging on for most of the day. We do get some high clouds that'll stream in or dim the sun at times in the afternoon. Mostly clear during the overnight hours tonight and looking ahead to Wednesday where dry to start in the morning and keeping that dry air around during the afternoon and evening. In fact, notice all the way into Thursday morning and this is at nine o'clock. Most of the uh, snow Means out of view here. Just a couple of light snow showers possible on Thursday morning. So about 36 this afternoon. Newport Wickford at 36. Temperatures in the northern part of the state won't be as warm as yesterday. Mix of sun and clouds in Burrowville and Socket near 34. And under partly sunny skies, we breezy and dry in Fall River, New Bedford, mid 30s there as well. Here's the seven day future cast. So as for Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I'm looking at little to no accumulation right now with the way this is setting up. Most of it stays offshore. It's just some light snow showers. Friday, Saturday, cold, dry conditions for now, but Saturday night into Sunday watching another offshore storm. The track of it will be key to determine whether we get any snow or a mix around here. You want to download the new WP 